no matter where you look, this vulnerability just keeps going. And what's amazing about it is because no one knows where all the injection points are. Like originally, a lot of people were looking at Apache log and elk stacks and things like that in protecting their egress points, or I mean their ingress points, places which is exposed out to the internet. But what we're realizing more and more is there's so many behind the scenes products that use log4j and don't really like bubble up to the surface. Like Unify Controller and iCloud we already know, but people are going back through old tweets on Apache and someone found that the Mars Ingenuity helicopter mission to Mars in 2020 is powered by log4j. Now, a couple things to say on this one before we like move on is it's probably not exploitable. Like it's not probably, uh, it, it's not gonna be caught in like a mass scan. It's not gonna be there. I did a video on DEF CON on Mars rover hacking and it was really interesting because these devices don't use like encryption in a standard way. Like it's insane to me when I found this out, talking to some of the people at Hackaset, and I'll link the video at the end or in the description down below, but they don't use encryption. It's all security through obscurity, like wrapped in base 64 because the packages are big, but you also don't necessarily want to introduce ways to break it. So eh, it's probably not going to be, it's exploitable. It probably is exploitable. It's probably exploitable from, from here over RF, but it's not going to be caught in these mass scanners. But here's what's crazy about this vulnerability is the injection points just keep going. Another tweet found that the iPhone, like when you go into your iPhone, click general about and set your iPhone name, that information was hitting a log 4J, was, was hitting the framework, it was being handled, and Apple was sending out requests. What's, what's crazy about this too is a lot of the mass scanners right now are just throwing in a DNS request or like you're, they're send in an attack which forces the server to do a git request out to DNS name and then they can monitor for that DNS name. It is absolutely amazing because it's getting found in just really crazy places. Putting a WAF protection in place is not necessarily going to defend against these because it's going to be wrapped in layers of encryption that those endpoints aren't necessarily going to be look, able to look into. This thing is going to be plaguing. Something I want to clarify from my last video that I did was I had said that script kitties and kids were the ones who found it. That's not true. I had something going in my mind. Uh, Chen from Alibaba Cloud Security was the one who found it. That was a security researcher. However, within the video game Minecraft, it was going rampant. Kids and script kitties were t shutting down tons of servers and that shined a light on how crazy some of the injection is because it was just in a console script in chat and we're finding more and more. Unify had one in the Unify controller. It, we didn't really know if it was exploitable. I'm sure we'll know in a while, but there are so many places this is popping out and I'm kind of weirdly excited to see some of the crazy ones between Apple, between the Mars Rover. I'm hoping that one is not going to be there or at least the Ingenuity helicopter mission. It, it's getting crazy. It's getting weird. Thanks for watching and hack on.